then really working with kids, doing ethnographic studies of how they play, how they learn, how they develop, we figured out that there, it was all about the design, it was about how appealing the sets were and how children play, but it was also making it as accessible. How do you make something that's sufficiently challenging so it's not boring, but not so challenging that you give up in advance? And we realized quite a few of those competitors, some of them coming out of China or Far East Asia, made things that just weren't fun to play with or too difficult to use. And that then came come down to the building instruction, the whole design, and basically stimulating the creative urge that is within every human being. It, it, it is a universal thing. Everybody loves to create. And some will like when they learn to play the piano, they will play what somebody else has written of music and they'll just enjoy recreating that. But others will break away from that and really make new music or at least their own music. And we have to be a platform uh, for that.